Welcome to the next topic, topic O, modular arithmetic. All right, here's the first video, introduction to modular arithmetic, and we've just got three problems, very basic. First problem, today is Tuesday, what day will it be in 17 days? Now I know you can do this in your head um, just without using any mechanics whatsoever, but I'm just gonna show you the way that'll be more useful uh, for future problems. So let's just uh, come up with a um, listing here of days. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And I'll assign each of them numbers. Sunday will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, just um, by convention, Typically, we do start these cycles at zero, and then after the last one, it's the same as um, the next one. So you can think of Sunday as zero, seven, 14, uh, things like that. Okay, so if today is Tuesday, we're basically starting um, with a two, and we're adding 17. So all I'm gonna do is go two plus 17 equals 19. However, notice this uh, cycles in, um, in groups of seven. So cycles of seven. So all I'm gonna do is divide by seven and check out the remainder, and the remainder will point to the exact day. So 19 divided by seven, two times seven, 14, two, remainder five. So what that means is I've, I've cycled two complete cycles and then I'm left on the day associated with five, which is Friday. Again, you could have done a much quicker just uh, by using common sense, but this is the method we'll be using in the future. Okay, second problem. It is 10 o'clock now. What time will it be in 53 hours? And we're gonna disregard AM and PM. Okay, so this is a clock. Again, we'll make our listing for our clock. Our clock will go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And again, that 0 and 12 kind of the same thing. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock now. And we're gonna add 53 hours. So it's gonna be 10 plus 53 is 63. So um, obviously there's no time 63. We're in cycles of 12. So we'll divide by 12, and the remainder will specify exactly what the hour is. So 63 divided by 12, 12 times five is 60, so that's five, remainder three. So what that means is we did five complete cycles in the clock, and then we're ending up at the number associated with remainder three. which in this case was three o'clock, so this will be three o'clock. Okay, notice this would be a remainder zero. All right, uh, final problem. You start with two quarters, you get 15 additional quarters. You always exchange for uh, dollar bills when possible. How many quarters do you now have? Okay, so again, let's make a list. Zero, one, two, three. So basically, you could have no quarters, one quarter, two quarters, or three quarters. If you had four quarters, you'd exchange it for a bill and you'd end up with zero. So that's really what our cycle is. Again, it's a cycle of four. Okay. So again, here's where we're starting, and we're adding 15. 
So it's going to be 2 plus 15 is 17. We will divide by 4. 17 divided by 4. And that's 4 remainder 1. So in this case, this 4 represents you're going to have $4 bills. You're going to have 4 singles. And this remainder 1 is going to be you're going to have 1 quarter. And that's the answer to the problem. So again, these are things that you do in normal everyday life without really realizing uh, what you're doing. And we'll formalize this process in the videos coming up. So there you have it, a very basic introduction to modular arithmetic.